Try and repair a 100E Lenovo MTK with a bad motherboard. And I'm using this crappy screwdriver that came with my second iFixit kit. So I can't find my screwdriver that I really like. There are nine screws in the bottom of this computer. Chromebook. Laptop. I normally listen to some music, but I can't do that one. Alright, nine screws. You don't have to take them all the way out. They can sit there, it's fine. Suck it over. What I normally do is grab the rubber here on the corner, push down. Same thing over here. Now we gotta be careful because there's some wires in here we have to unplug, so we lift it forward. See the wires here, and here, and then this is uh, connects the battery to the motherboard. So we're going to unhook that first, even though this motherboard's dead. And we're going to lift this gate, take that out, this gate here, that out, this gate, that out. Except this is keyboard. Side. Yeah. And the hardest part of this is getting these wires off of this without breaking them. And that's what we're going to try and do next. Break them, they're ruined. Get some play in them, that's good. Right. Oh, yay. Yay, okay. So both of them came off without breaking that. That's so important. Those. There's a lift gate on this one. And take them out. And that's everything that's attached to the motherboard. Now we're going to take out the screws. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They all have little triangles next to them. You know what that one does too. prefer some sort of electric, but I don't. Uh, this voids my warranty, which is already up. It's also where you would take the screw out if you were going to reprogram the motherboard, which I'm not going to be doing. I'm going to take out these three screws from the hinge as well. And they have a triangle on them showing you which one. And they're different screws, so make sure you set them in their own pile. All together we have three different types of screws. Silver ones, and two different lengths of black ones. If you put your finger on this, slightly close the lid, and then open it again, it takes that hinge right out of your way. Take the motherboard out, lift here, and then pull it out get these free from here. And there it is. New motherboard. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here. I think it's probably on the bottom of our 
That's to keep the make a heat sink. Okay, we'll put our screws back in. Start with the silver ones. And remember, each one of these has a triangle showing you where it goes. And before you start screwing it down, make sure all your connector pieces are not stuck under it. Try not to touch it, because this is our new board, even though you've already de-staticked yourself or whatever. And it has no power running through it. Still just best not to touch it. And you can see on these they have a white line that shows you which one's what's the top and they slide in under like that and they have two little tabs and then your white line is parallel close to the flip gate same with this one um, these it shows you which one is white as a w so just stick it on top of it try and line it up perfectly push it down. Do the same thing with the black one. Just put it right there on top. Just push it down. We're going to make sure that it stays in its channel here. It goes underneath this flap. Otherwise it can get damaged and you're opening and closing the Chromebook later. Like so. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the keyboard before I put the power back. So, see, it also has a white line. Trackpad. back. Set the keyboard in place. Just push it down everywhere. You might want to wait on this part until after you've tested it, but to find out what the new serial number is, you can do Alt-V, and it shows you here what the serial number is. So now I just have to put my screws back in the bottom, and enroll it, and I'm done. <laughs>